Thesis 1. The monster's body is a cultural body. Vampires, burial, death. Inter the corpse where the road forks, so that when it springs from the grave, it will not know which path to follow. Drive a stake through its heart, it will be stuck to the ground at the fork. It will haunt that place that leads to many other places, that point of indecision. Behead the corpse, so that, acephalic, it will not know itself as subject, only as pure body. The monster is born only at this metaphoric crossroads, as an embodiment of a certain cultural moment, of a time, a feeling, and a place. The monster's body quite literally incorporates fear, desire, anxiety, and fantasy, giving them life and an uncanny independence. The monster's body is pure culture. A construct and a projection, the monster exists only to be read. The monstrum is etymologically that which reveals, that which warns, a glyph that seeks a hierophant. Like a letter on the page, the monster signifies something other than itself. It is always a displacement, always inhabits the gap between the time of upheaval that created it and the moment into which it is received to be born again. These epistemological spaces between the monster's bones are Derrida's familiar chasm of difference, a genetic uncertainty principle, the essence of the monster's vitality, the reason it always rises from the dissection table as its secrets are about to be revealed and vanishes into the night.